Uh, we're going to make a, something I've never made before. Uh, I have mathematically figured out the formula. And as Jeff has told you, that when I do that, uh, like he said, the first thing he tried was god awful. So we'll hope for the best. At least I don't stick to the formula. If I need to, I can uh, modify it as we go along. But um, someone told me this the other day. They said, uh, what a great combination, Bordeaux wine and um, chocolate. You know, everybody loves chocolate and, and wine. So I have made uh, wine sorbets before. It's, it's very f uh, simple. You've got the recipe there, or did I give them out? It's all two, two, and two. No, I didn't give them out. Um, just like Jeff's three, two, one, this is two, two, two. It's two 750 milliliter bottles of a dry white wine. I only use Bordeaux uh, the way I would use Bacardi uh, if, if I was making a Bacardi. Isn't Bordeaux a red wine? Did I? Yeah, I meant to say red. Okay. It's a red. Um, but I'm using a lower priced uh, red wine because after all, you're going to throw it in sugar and water. So you're not going to you know, be sipping there checking the quality, though the yellowtail here from Australia is not too bad. Um, so it's going to be two of these and then refill them with water. So that's easy. Two, two, two pounds of sugar. And then we're going to see what one pound of the Benjamin Forbes chocolate tastes like. Chocolate is very subjective. Um, my wife likes 85% uh, cocoa, which tastes like chalk, and it'll stay in the fridge for 10 years because I'll never eat it. Uh, but if you put a bag of M&Ms in there, it's going to be gone in two seconds. So uh, there is no right or wrong to chocolate. Uh, Jeff uses a lot of G uh, Giardelli uh, and Barry Calibo. Um, and I've always liked Benjamin P. Forbes. Uh, they are a chocolate company out of Cleveland that's over 100 years old. And they're a family business. Uh, there's another one out of uh, Pennsylvania, I think it is, called Bensdorp, uh, which is good. But it's all personal taste. There is no wrong chocolate. Hershey's is great. Uh, it's just everybody cringes when you say you're making Bordeaux wine and Hershey syrup. You know, they go, well, that sounds pretty crummy. But Excuse me? Yeah, oh, I couldn't agree more. I love the Hershey syrup. So I need a bucket. Aren't you glad we don't have to do the cleanup on this? Um, so. Glug, 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 glug. Then I'll fill one of those with water. Great. Oh, hold on. I think I got my very expensive mixer in the... Oh, it's it here? here. Oh, it's right here. Yeah. Wow. Now, there's two ways to go about buying things. There is the expensive way, and then there's Jeff's way. And I bought this before I thought it heard Jeff's way. This is a very expensive KitchenAid or something like that. <laughs> yeah, KitchenAid uh, <laughs> stirring stick or something like that. Fancy An immersion. Name. Immersion blender. What a fancy name. Jeff went out and bought. He didn't even buy. He went out to his garage and got his electric drill. And then he went and got a stirring rod you know, for mixing paint. It's a long rod like this that goes into a drill bit. He bought that for three bucks at the paint supply store, and that's his immersion blender. He's going like that, and it does a better job than this. But this one cost a lot, so it must be good. I had a customer. Can we just show this to the crowd? Can we see this camera? You see that? That's called two mail plugs. That's like the lady the other day who called and asked why her CB350 wasn't working because it has a round plug and she was trying to put it into a square outlet for her clothes dryer. So I don't think we're going to get anywhere with that. Why? How could you think that? <laughs> this is where it belongs. Okay. Try that. Good. I used to know how to turn it on. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're cooking. Now, the, the bad part is I bought that thing, too, after I saw it, Steve, and I, I have never used it. It's in, the, in this beautiful kit with all different attachments on it. 
What did we pay, like 100 bucks for it? No, of course not. I paid 250 yeah. <laughs> Wait, you think I'm smart? Never used it. Whoa. I have a Don't worry, it's to... factored into the formula. I know just how much went off into space. <laughs> oh, <I'm> right. <laughs> you got my water? Excuse me? Did we put the water in? Allow me. Thank you. I knew I was making this today, and yet I wear white. Yes. Yeah, smart. Is that the two of them? One, it says. Or two. Two? Yeah, two, two, two. Easy, huh? And Jeff will come to your house, too, for $109 an hour and pour bottles of water into your <laughs> mixture. <laughs> okay. Ready for the taste test? Oh, boy. Boy, now my book is going to look really chef-like. Right. It's got spills all over it. Tastes good, right, Jeff? Oh, that's vile. Really? It needs a ton of sugar. I thought so. Good. I thought it was going to need sugar. <laughs> he doesn't hold back, does he? <laughs> uh, start with a pound? I would do two. I'd throw the bag in. <laughs> <laughs> with the cardboard. <laughs> this is what you call experimenting. This is where the fun is. Is that what you call it? Absolutely. Let uh, me know how much you're putting in. Now I in. need your plug. <laughs> Okay. Here. I don't know where it goes, though. Oh. Okay. Uh, no, no, it goes to the box. No, this is it. <laughs> this is it. That's it. No, that goes right down there. I'll get it. Watch your head. Yeah. Not a problem. I never understood that. How can you watch your head? I don't know. Keep going oh, up like oh, that. Only uh, fifth grade okay. math teachers can do that. Just think after you guys do this a few times, you'll, you'll have all this figured out. Oh, that's the idea. <laughs> after 390-some videos. We keep trying. trying. All right, we'll How much is that? A little over a pound. Okay. Go for it. You can start that any time. I will. Know. I've got to plug it in first. <laughs> you think we've rehearsed this. Who's Laurel? Who's Hardy? I know. <laughs> You know, we should have just done the machine. <laughs> we should have what? Should have just dumped it in the machine, let the machine mix it. I know, yeah. Why don't we okay. do that? Why don't we do that? Well, we're gone this far. It's kind of fun. Give it a try. You think that's dissolved already? Yeah, absolutely. It's a $200 immersion blender. Of course it's a dissolved. <laughs> More? No, uh, yeah. All right, another pound. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. We may you know not what, even get you there know today. What I would add? What? I would add that to that. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded good on paper to make chocolate and Bordeaux. Where did uh, you Bordeaux. find this? Uh, a customer wrote it in. Someone who has a different brand machine. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, I sure do. $700 a gallon. What are we looking for? I hit it. She wanted to add some vanilla. I'm just saying, let's add, to help him out, poor thing. Let's just add another... Uh, add about uh, six ounces of vanilla. That much? It, it oh, yeah, you can't hurt with vanilla. Okay. I'm sorry, you don't pay for it. Here, about six hold ounces. Hold on, hold on. Well, I'm trying to be exact here. Yeah, there you go. All right, don't worry. It's, it's, it's all natural. I no, we ought to that's, throw the lock, bag that, in that's there. locked away. I'm not stupid. Oh, it keeps going up. That's why I, I buy an all natural vanilla that's $109 a gallon as opposed to uh, from um, Lockhead. If you buy a little bit, it's $40. So is that like a commercial 
blender, hand blender. Well, I want you to know this is a one of a kind flavor. <laughs> We're never going to make it again. Well, you don't know. It could come out good. Okay. Okay, what? Oh, Try taste it? it? Yes. All right, Jeff, let's see if your six ounces work. Now it's getting there. All right. Well, you mean we need more? How much sugar we got? Four pounds so far in. Four pounds in. That's not bad. Four pounds in. Let's put it. No, it's not raw. It's it's ice cream cocoa. Let's put the put it in the machine. See what happens when it starts to slosh around. All right. All right. All right. It's not raw cocoa. It's um, ice cream ready. Okay. Very well. Oh, you can put it in just like that. Yeah. Jeff said so. It's not my. It's not my fault. Four pounds. Three and a half, approximately. So like I said, it's a simple formula. Four, two, and two. And six. <laughs> and six. Don't forget the vanilla. And I suggest you go buy more McCormick at the supermarket. It's a lot cheaper. Whoa. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Thanks. What's that for? Got all that sugar. Look, all that sugar. Ah, uh, that's nothing. That's nothing. It's going to come out to uh, a tablespoon. Every little bit helps. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Look at the mess here. Yeah, it's really cool. No, it makes us look like we were. That's true. We're real here. chefs. <laughs> yeah, real chefs. All right, so I'm going to put this for sorbet, sorbetto, start. All right. You want to start doing your flavor? Oh, okay. Why are we going to be lengthy? Well. Just keep them occupied. Okay. We're starting to okay. Lose. And then we'll, yeah, this is going to be a while. Okay, we're multitasking right now. We're going to multitask right now. While this is being made, I'm going to start because I can't wait to get to my root canal. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to make something I've never made. I don't even, I'm not even sure the ingredients, but we'll give it a shot. Remember, it's all like soup. If you put in great chicken, great rice, great celery, great carrots, you got to have great soup. Mm -hmm. Maybe add a little salt, a little pepper, whatever, but you're going to have great soup. So that's what we'll do. Elvis was always famous for eating banana and peanut butter sandwiches. So I thought, let's make fat Elvis out of... Oh, Steve, I need more mix. Coming up. Okay. We'll make fat Elvis with peanut butter... Once again, did I buy Schmiff or Jif? We'll use some Hershey's syrup. We're winding down. Thank if you can ever find it, Hershey's Special Dark. It's extraordinary. It's not like Hershey's syrup. It's very hard to find and extraordinary. Hershey's Special Dark. So when I was driving over this morning, I thought, and I have some banana flavor because ripe bananas are out of the question. When I was driving over this morning, I thought to make this, because I've never made it, let's put the mix in the machine. So we'll add five quarts of mix to the machine. Uh. And then uh, I thought, instead of just Fat Elvis will make chocolate fat Elvis. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, five quarts. Yeah, that's what okay, I thought. You. Chocolate fat Elvis. Where are we going? Six, four, two. If it's no good, oh well. You had enough anyway. Yeah. 
tell her. Tell her. No, tell her what? No. Tell her why we're not going to use fresh fruit. What? It won't be consistent. Correct. Fresh fruit, the bananas you get today, and if you want to make this flavor next month, well, I can't get ripe fruit anymore, or it's too ripe, or it's not ripe enough. Cherries are too tart, too sweet. Strawberries too small, too big, too far. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll start with five quarts of mix. You notice there's never anything under those spouts when he works? Five quarts of mix. And then I thought driving over, let's recreate chocolate milk, chocolate mix, before we start adding the other stuff. So we'll have our base of chocolate, chocolate. So I'll add uh, an amount of this. <laughs> you know where this is going, right? <laughs> We'll add just about the whole container. And let's see how strong that is, because that'll determine, we want the taste of peanut butter, the taste of banana, and the taste of chocolate. Tough thing to get those three together. So let's see if we have a good chocolate base to start with. And if it's too chocolatey, then we know we have to add more of the other stuff to make it an equal triad of flavors. That's a mellow chocolate, which I think will be good. And now peanut butter. Always the killer. How much peanut butter do you add? Crunchy. You're writing this down? I've never done this before. That's okay. But when I left the store last night, Danny said to me, listen, if it's good, bring some home. I said, I won't be able to. He said, will you make it at the store if it's good? So that's what this is. If this is good here, it'll be on my menu board next week. So we'll add some peanut butter. Now this would be a good candidate for the paint mixer in a bowl, but I didn't bring it. You don't have a paint mixer, do you, with the drip? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no. Probably not, but I can show you what's inside. I, I will. All right. Uh, this is Hartley's, H-A-R-T-L-E-Y-S. It's, it's pretty good stuff. It's Hartley's banana. Uh, they use this to make uh, snow cones, to put flavor on top of snow cones and stuff. It's all right. And uh, let's add about... Uh, what the hell is this? It's a lot, huh?
And we're not done yet. But wait, there's more. There's more. Oh, wait, there's more. <laughs> Okay, now of course we try it. This is crazy. I was about to say we get paid for this, but we don't. No, we don't. How's the color? Brown. Brown. Oh. He's still alive. See, I'm not the only one. <laughs> Got it. Steve, how long does it take to clean that peanut butter What? Out? What do you give? Oh, you want to taste it? Uh, to clean the peanut butter out? Me? No time at all. Someone else? <laughs> Maybe 10 minutes. So would it be easier <laughs> to blend it and before we mix it? Yeah. So the mix Liquory. Very liquory. That's good. Okay. Whiny. Whiny. Yeah, I know I am. You know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think we'll let it roll. I didn't see that Sugar? No. It's enough sugar in here, in the peanut butter. Uh, what else did we add? Chocolate. The mix. Pretty. Yeah, he says it works. So this will be chocolate fat Elvis. <laughs> chocolate fat Elvis. What a business this is. Imagine you're at Microsoft and you're in your cubicle. And you're, you're making those flat boards, what do they call them, the processor boards? And you say, oh, let's try this. I don't think so. But here you can do it. And if you think about it, everything since vanilla is an invention. You know, vanilla was around when, you know, that's an orchid. You know, vanilla comes from orchids, the orchid plant. So vanilla was the first flavor. Everything else is an offshoot, an experiment. Off of vanilla. Here we go. Look at the color of that. Wow. That looks nice. Look at the texture. Yeah. Smooth. This is smooth. Boy, this is good. Don't think about what it looks like. Just think about what it tastes like. Okay? Ready to try it? Absolutely. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, yep, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Okay, let's give it a taste. I'm going to do this now.
Okay, Fat Elvis. <laughs>